Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to take your satin chrome piece of plastic dash and tint it so that it doesn't blind you every time the sun is out. So follow me and I'll show you how to do it. So first things first, I'm gonna show you how to remove the satin chrome trim from the dash bezel. I've already done this side, so I'm gonna leave this side in. The process is exactly the same on both sides, so there's no need to double up this video length. I'm gonna take a panel removal tool and I'm gonna start at the bottom of the trim piece and I'm gonna shove the panel removal tool in between the plastic piece here and the front of the bezel. I'm gonna wedge that in there. Once I do, you'll see the bottom corner pop free. Once the bottom corner has popped free, I'm just going to follow it along the trim piece and pull out towards the driver's seat. Once I've done that, it's as simple as getting some vinyl or tint or paint or whatever you want to do to change this up. So I chose to use a tint on mine. That way I can still see some of the chrome coming through, but you know, your mileage may vary. Whatever you choose to do is up to you. Come with me over to the bench and I will show you how much vinyl or tint you're going to need if you choose that route. In order to tint or vinyl cover your dash bezel piece, uh, after you've removed it from the car. What you'll want to make sure you do is clean it up. I'm using an um, isopropyl alcohol-based, uh, like a panel prep, but uh, any kind of alcohol swab or glass cleaner, or just anything to get uh, any of the fingerprints and grease and dust and grime off of it will do the job. I just want to make sure that it is prepped and the tint or the vinyl or the paint will stick to it. So got that uh, cleaned off, not too much work. And then we will need the actual tint or vinyl or paint. I'll leave a link in the description for this tint. And we'll need some tools, uh, the panel removal tool to take it out of the car. We'll also want a heat gun of some sort, whether it's a corded uh, unit or a cordless unit. Again, I'll leave links in the description for that as well. The tint that you will want, uh, you'll need a larger piece. And the reason you need a larger piece is because of all of the funky angles that this thing has. If you wanna be able to do this in one shot, what you'll want is at least a 12 inch by 12 inch piece. If you can do a 12 by 14, that would be ideal. You'll also need something to cut the vinyl or the tint with, and you will want uh, some type of squeegee to be able to smooth things out. Again, I'll leave links for all of that in the description. I'm just gonna use some basic scissors to cut the vinyl initially. Again, you'll want a 12 by 12 at minimum. And the way you're gonna lay this out is you will have the, uh, if you kind of put this into a U shape, you'll have the U as close to the edge as possible so that you can get uh, as much coverage with all this extra, essentially wasted material that you can get. So once you have your vinyl cut, you want to peel it, lay it down, sticky side up, and then lay your vinyl tint down as close to one of the edges as possible. And then you'll just kind of want to press the vinyl or press the bezel into the vinyl up until you get to the point where you get this really sharp angle here. Then you'll want to kind of pick it up and just kind of follow with your fingertips the angle that you need. And as you can see here, took it right to the right to the edge 
Um, you'll see if you uh, you know kind of mess this up, you can you can pull it away and, and start over, or or stretch it as you need to. You'll be able to feel uh, exactly where this needs to go once you start laying it down. So don't be afraid to to lay it on there and pull it off and, and try again a couple of different ways. Um, there are going to be some creases and bubbles, and uh, that's where the heat gun comes into play. You'll be able to get those out with the heat gun. Once I have the general layout of where this needs to go, you can flip it over, check for any egregious creases or bubbles, and just kind of lift and pull and kind of glass out the, the vinyl or the tint. It might be hard to see on camera, but you'll, you'll definitely see it when you start applying this by hand. You'll just be able to stretch it out a bit. And then as you heat it, it'll actually get easier to stretch out and easier to manipulate. I'm not gonna sit here and do this whole process with you. I'll fast forward through some parts, but um, I'll, I'll get the basics done and we'll go from there. Once I have the general layout of the vinyl, I can start cutting this away just to reduce some of the excess vinyl that will be uh, harder to work with. Once I have a majority of the vinyl trimmed, I will bring the heat gun in. I'm going with around 550 to 600 degrees. And I wanna warm this up to the point where it's just pliable enough. I don't want to melt it. This will just help me get some of the creases out, like in this spot right here. Again, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. This will allow me to pull and stretch, and kind of work out the bubbles. Once I've used the heat and kind of formed this and got all the bubbles out, I can do my final trimming. From the back side, I want to leave a tiny bit of vinyl to overlap onto the back side of the bezel. And on the side with the clips that go into the dash, I'm actually going to cut that as close to those pieces as possible, but I am not going to tint over those tabs. I'll hit it with heat again to kind of fold it over but then I will cut away that section. Once I have this fully wrapped, I go ahead and do my final trimming of the end pieces and make sure uh, they are clear at the tabs as well. And then it just goes back into the car. Now that you have your tinted piece, you simply line it back up with the dash, push the tabs in, You are all set. No more blinding glare from your satin chrome dash bezel. So there you have it. Your dash bezel is tinted or vinyl or painted, and you're no longer getting blinded by the light. Yeah, I know that. Too, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer what I can for you. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Today I'm going to show you how to take your satin chrome pleat. Blah, blah, blah. You'll be able to, you know, kind of feel. Oh, see, mess, mess that up.